What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Burn Down YouTube channel. I want to do an update video. Uh, it's the evening. This place is thrashed. Uh, I was working and thrashing in here all week, but I thought this would be a good opportunity and then I could just post this up so this is kind of a real-time deal. So if you're watching this, uh, I obviously made this video the evening before, but life was kind of beating me up and I figured it's fun to share that stuff because that's how life works, right? Everything's not perfect, everything's not sunshine. But then you get through adversity and I figure I'll share, you know, the wins and the losses with you guys. So life was freaking hectic with all my dailies <clears throat> and all my stuff. And I'll tell you what, standing here right now today, three weeks ago me, if you would have said, hey, you're gonna have like a new project car and another new car and all kinds of other stuff, I would have been like, you are insane, we're not doing that. Well, here we are. So we just got back, it was, an all day crazy event. My wife <clears throat> got a, an RT uh, charger is what we got. So we need the four door, we need the room because my boy, uh, he's only seven, but he's tall. And then you figure that in a handful more years, he's just gonna be a monster. Uh, if you're wondering what happened to the Camaro, uh, we sold the Camaro and I did fix it. And it ended up being a wire harness because some schmuck that actually worked on that thing was lazy and they didn't, uh, there was, that car had a line on it, a cooler line that ran to the rear end for the track package or whatever that was on it. Cause it was like a super, you know, had all the bells and whistles on it. So that line was pulled down and the harness for the transmission was pulled down while well, it was supposed to be behind that line and then up and like tucked away. And there's actually, it's funny cause on that car, there's just like a, basically a zip tie. It's like a zip tie that clips in, like you just pop it in. Well, that was broke because somebody had done the service and <clears throat> this is the first time I was ever under the Camaro at all, ever. So, of course, you start looking around, you start finding stuff. And then being a car guy, you're like, ah. And you have the dailies and you take them to the dealers or wherever you take these things to get serviced and all that. You know, hoping that they're doing their due diligence. And somebody's negligence uh, cost me a bunch of effort, really. Uh, the money side was on me because the codes I was reading were calling for. It's funny because the code basically told me what it was but I didn't go through all the wire harness and I jumped straight to valve body issues. Well, we had TCM, so we did try TCM. And then uh, my buddy Joe was like, oh, let's bring all the pins, pins out. And I was like, no, dude, it's gotta be this. So long story short, we did a TCM, a reflash on the thing. Uh, I ended up doing the valve body and then I went to get the internal harnesses because I didn't do that when I got the valve body. And when I pulled the pan off for the second time to do the internal harnesses, um, I followed all the wiring around and found it. So I didn't do the inside harnesses, so I got to take those back. Um, and then I rewrapped and fixed the harness, put it all back together, and it worked. So <clears throat> drove it on over, got rid of the thing, and we got my wife a nice new car. So that is out of the way. And then another exciting thing, um, I got, I ordered gears for the Twinnebago, and then the guy called me back <clears throat> and was like, Oh, um, I don't think these are the right ones. Big old fiasco with that all week. And then of course, I already told Champion, I said, hey, I ordered stuff, uh, we're good to go, life is awesome. So then they're promoting that, you know, we're taking the Bago to the show. And then of course, after they do that, my guy at Anaheim Gear was like, no dice, bro. Well, uh, they did their due diligence and I'm really excited because it was only a couple hundred dollars worth of parts. That guy worked his butt off, so I feel like I owe them a high five or something. Maybe we'll go over there and take the twin of and make them all laugh and smile or something. But um, they ended up finding me a used set of spider gears for the rear end that's in the twin of Bagel, which I don't know how they did it. I don't care how they did it, but he already sent me pictures. He said it'll be here Monday. So we are still back in, back on. I should be able to slam those in and make it to the Champion System Cooling uh, Car Show next weekend. And then, um, yeah, so... The nice thing about all of this, and the reason I want to get the video out uh, today for you guys, is I'll be filming all weekend. We're going to go cut and grind and do fun stuff. Um, my buddy John, I saw him uh, today. He hit me up and he's like, hey dude, how's the boom? He's like, you want to go to the track? I said, I can't go, but I'll go with you. So he's excited to take the tri fi by fire back out, I think. So uh, maybe we'll get to go to the track and just blow off a little steam and have some fun. And it won't be me, but you know what? I, get, I don't know about you guys, but I get pumped. When my buddies get to run, like I'm there, and that's the next best thing for me, uh, actually racing my cars, watching my good buddies uh, get to rip and have fun. I still get pumped because if they do well and they're having a good time, I don't know, I just enjoy being at the track. It really is my happy place. So I <clears throat> just want to fill you guys in 
We got through the daily driver fiasco. Um, I returned my car that my buddy loaned me. We, yeah, I mean, it was, oh, and to top it off, the new car, we bought it from a dealership that hasn't even technically opened today. It was like a first soft opening weird deal. And um, we were the very first people to purchase a car from the dealership. And I said, well, good. We bring it back to trade it in. We're going to sell it back to the owner for a bunch of money because this is the first car he ever sold here, right? And they all laughed at me. And I'm like, I'll bring it back. Sentimental value, right? So that is it. We got through it. Um, I've been just burning it down, trying to get uh, work in and then put out fires without neglecting, you know, working because everything's been dying. And I haven't been able to put like full hours in on stuff and it was killing me. So finally got through all that stuff. We finally get a weekend where it's like I could just hammer out stuff. <clears throat> I don't have anything on the back of my mind of like feeling guilty about over here working away on the on the you know the boom or the bago or any of my stuff and like my wife's daily sitting on jack stands and not running. So we were good with all that stuff. So we can focus. We can start kicking ass again. Um, I feel good about it. So hopefully next weekend we'll be champion cooling system show with the twin of bago. We should get that thing running. Uh, the pacer is awesome. As soon as I really kind of scrounged up some time. I'd love to throw some gas and a battery on that thing and see if it runs. Uh, I talked to KP about uh, dynoing it, so we're gonna, if it does run, we get it running. We'll take it to the dyno just for fun. And then also with the Pacer, um, a lot of interest, a lot of love, which I'm excited about. Although, I do, I'm gonna just keep it straight vanilla on that car. It's funny, because I thought about it like it'd be rad to do a Hemi, because Holly makes computers for that, or I could do like a six cylinder turbo, like the sky's the limit. But the whole goal for it is to be kind of budget friendly and simple and I want to get back to that on the channel instead of getting out weird on the outside box on it. I know everybody's going to hate on the LS swap. But the cool thing is I've already talked to Ryan and uh, bounced some ideas back and forth with him because the one thing, you know, a lot of you guys that follow me already follow Happel and he does the tuning section, wiring and all that other stuff, but he doesn't really mess with the transmission portion. So uh, I'm dumb enough to get into that stuff. So I want to work hopefully with Ryan and come up with some form of like a budget oriented uh, transmission, you know, 4080 type deal. And I know everybody's gonna say HD2 kit. Well, I think we can improve on that. Uh, hopefully stay around the same price point, but better bang for a buck uh, with that. And then I'm gonna work with him uh, as well, uh, converter wise, cause everybody keeps doing like budget, like Jake's or not Jake's, uh, Jags, I think they make a converter or somebody makes one. Um, so I'd really like to work with him and really pound out, you know, a nice budget unit and something better than what they're doing so you can guys can get off the shelf parts from Ryan and they'll be tested on my car. It'll be dynoed. You'll watch me drive it all around. I'll do all the install stuff here. I'll make the video for it. Um, and then that way, if it's done, you know, if you get stuff from Ryan, you know what it is. You got the video here. I can troubleshoot and help answer some of the questions and stuff that you may or may not have. So we'll be fun with that. And then we'll lean on <clears throat> Happel because he has a lot of cool plug and play stuff for the Terminator X. Uh, stuff that this line that he just came out with so I'd like to just do that sort of stuff instead of trying to make crazy things it'd be fun to just you know lean on my sponsors and my buddies and just take the stuff that's easy and do the easy stuff uh, with it and have some fun with it so that's kind of what we're trying to do my son wants to drive around and do like car shows and he loves it the hood opens backwards and while I'm working on my other projects I'm just gonna squirrel that prod uh, parts away so I've already kind of started putting stuff away for the car and like an idea. So that's the other thing too. I think we'll just do, you know, five, three, we'll shake down some of the sponsors. Uh, but ultimately I just want to do budget friendly, something fun. And then we get to paint, all bets are off. So I'm going to throw some paint on the car and then some rims too. So it'll be, it'll be cool. I mean, we're not going to try to stay super dirt budget, like scrape together junk, you know, we'll shake sponsors and things down. But like I said, on the transmission portion, maybe we can kind of walk that direction a little more with the 480e stuff um and help you guys with that and then uh, we'll shake apple down and see what kind of fun you know plug and play style stuff and then maybe i can work with him kind of like on the tune and i can dial it all that and it'd be fun to maybe put the the pacer tune up in the slot mechanics cabinet or whatever just for fun so you guys would have all that too i mean i i guess i could even run out like all the shift points and everything and really line it out so that might be kind of cool so then even if I worked with Ryan on it, and you didn't need the actual motor tune, you could take the transmission tune from the Pacer too. So, just trying to offer some value and uh, get a little outside of the vanilla. But honestly, it's my wheelhouse, man. I feel comfortable, and I already have so many other projects on board. 
that I'm really not trying to get crazy with the cheese whisk with it. We're just trying to have some fun, you know, do some smoky browns and smile a little. So you guys know what to do. Thank you for following along. Thank you for watching the update. I'm gonna get after it in the morning, but I'm gonna go rest because I haven't had a good night's sleep in a while. Uh, a lot of stress over here at Camp Thompson, but man, feel good about life. I'm gonna get some wings. So you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. Till next time, I'm out. <laughs>